Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a review and full day wear test on the brand new Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This is the Natural Skin Perfector. So if you are interested in hearing my thoughts on this and how this works for me today, then just keep watching. The reason I am doing this, I did a poll and as of now, it's not been 24 hours yet, but as of now, this is winning by just 1%, but I did get a lot more comments about reviewing this foundation in my previous video, so I'm just going to do this today, plus it's perfect because I have a lot to do today and it's my first day of work and this is literally like the perfect work foundation. It's just like orientation and training today, so not actually teaching today, but still, <laughs> I'm still really nervous. Major facts about this guy, so it is $47, you get 1.7 fluid ounces, so it is 0.7 more than the average foundation, which I think helps compensate for the price. I have mine in the shade 3N1 Sand. It is described online as a best-selling tinted moisturizer with a new and improved formula infused with skincare benefits for up to 24-hour hydration and SPF 30 to protect. The coverage is light, the finish is natural, and it's supposed to be for normal, dry, and combination skin. I remember Laura Mercier's tinted moisturizer formula being quite popular, but this is a reformulated version. I have not tried the original tinted moisturizer to be able to compare, so I just have the new and improved formula. Just so you know, there also is a mini version available if you want to save some money. It's $24. And there seems to be an illuminating version. This is not illuminating. This is the natural, but I have had experience with this. I've worn this one full day and I have to say this does give quite a lot of glow. So I don't know how glowy that illuminating one is because this one's pretty good. So the packaging is really simple. It's just a simple squeezy tube. I really like a squeezy tube. It's very sanitary and I mean, it's simple and it works. The product doesn't come flying out like some squeezy tubes, which is really Really nice so here is what we have as you can see it's a little thicker I'm just gonna get straight into applying to my face all I have on is a moisturizer I'm not putting on a base today so we can really see how this wears so based on my first time applying this is the best way that works for me so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna apply it straight to my skin with my fingers and I think immediately as you can see there is almost no coverage so if you are looking for coverage you ain't gonna get that with this so i am going to build a little bit so that you can see you can build the coverage like a tiny bit you really can't build it that much to be honest so if you are looking for any sort of coverage honestly you're really not going to get it all this really does is it evens out your complexion so if you want any coverage but you also want this finish you could also just layer this on top of a little bit of concealer or you can just mix it in with a foundation which is probably the best bet so here is with one quick layer as you can see didn't really do much but it did give me a really nice glow to the skin so I'm gonna go ahead and apply a second layer so that you can see how that works now the reason I like applying with my fingers first is because it's not getting sunken in by the sponge so you are getting the maximum amount of product on your skin but I do use the sponge to kind of spread out so as you can see with that second coat we are working on the redness a little bit more it is kind of going away I have some acne scarring here it's not covered at all which isn't bad like listen this is a tinted moisturizer you guys it's not a foundation and I know I feel like a lot of times on YouTube we rely on full coverage and we want the most amount of coverage but honestly I'm not mad at this at all this is a tinted moisturizer I don't need coverage and once you get that through your head you'll realize how nice this really looks and for me and for my job I just don't need too much coverage so what this is really looking like to me is it's looking like skin so I do not have perfect skin and as you can see I just have a nice glow I have some SPF on me my skin feels moisturized it looks very moisturized and it's just kind of evens out my complexion so I'm going to apply just to show you the building ability not that there's too much of a building ability I am going to put just a little bit of extra product right here on the most red points of my cheek honestly day-to-day -day life I'm really not that concerned just so you can see I'm using a really light touch with the sponge so I can really just focus on spreading the product and not putting it into the sponge but 
as you can see, as I focus on areas, it does definitely minimalize the redness, which is very, very important. So in the respect that you do need to build, that does take more time in the day because with the tinted moisturizer, I do just want something fast and you do have to spend a little bit more time if you want a little bit more coverage. But I just want you to see, like, this is really beautiful. I think your best bet is mixing it with a foundation to get some actual coverage here. But I know for me, I'm not really too focused on that. Sometimes I do just want my skin to look like skin. And this literally looks like your skin but improved. So I'm really liking this. So I'm just gonna do, like, a touch of concealer on my under eyes. So maybe I look a little less tired. I'm sorry, guys. This foundation review is definitely going to be a little bit quick today because... I'm kind of in a hurry, but I actually have stuff to do today. And that's all I'm gonna do as far as coverage. You can also at this point kind of go in and spot conceal, but you do have to be very careful with the spot concealing. Like it has to be literally your skin tone because if you're using a concealer that's not your skin tone, you're gonna be able to tell. Putting like a touch on my acne scars and that's all I'm gonna do for coverage. So I'm gonna go off camera and I'm going to see this wasn't my perfect shade and you can really see that <laughs> oh well and I'm going to finish the rest of my face I'm just going to lightly powder the under eyes the t-zone area and then I'm going to apply powder blush and bronzer and I will be right back all right so I did just want to pop back on to show you the final product obviously I'm going like extremely natural today I did go ahead and apply a translucent powder to the center of my face to try and control oils and it was just like a very light dusting and then I applied a touch of powder bronzer and blush to the cheeks and of course mascara so this is what we're looking like today it's looking really really nice like I said it looks like my skin but it's improved my skin has this really natural stunning glow uh, you know how sometimes sunscreens can be white I really like that this is a way to get a little bit of SPF without turning you white and I'm really digging this I actually don't have a tinted moisturizer really like this where it is just so natural but ever so slightly improves your skin if you are on the market for a tinted moisturizer with more coverage I'm going to direct you more to the a cosmetics they have have a great tinted moisturizer which is really just like a foundation also NARS has a really good one with some decent coverage as well so this is definitely different it's tinted and I'm really liking it I don't really talk about products like this on my channel so I have a very long day today so I'm going to check in at lunchtime in like four or five hours I think the wear time today for me is going to be nine or ten hours so it's a really long test which is really good for you guys so I will check in in a few hours so it is 12 o'clock so I've been wearing the makeup for about five hours now and I don't know the lighting looks a little orange I swear it's just the lighting but my skin's looking really nice it's looking very skin like a little bit shiny but in a good way I really like this type of shininess it's not like greasiness it's just glowy it's hot it's summer um, I was sweating all day so that has something to do with it but I just love how it doesn't look like I have any makeup on my skin looks like skin and it feels protected it feels moisturized and I'm really really liking it so I will come back at the end of the day to update you guys again alrighty hello so it is now the end of the day for me it is four o'clock so I've been wearing this tinted moisturizer for about nine hours now so let's take a look I mean you can see right here slight indentation in my smile lines but nothing I can't just blend out a little bit but other than that absolutely beautiful now obviously all coverage is gone there really isn't coverage at all on my face but the glow it gives my face is so stunning it's not overly oily it's not greasy looking it's just a stunning glow it looks better than my natural skin it feels really light on the skin and I really 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 like it so here are my final thoughts on this product if you couldn't tell by now I really do enjoy it obviously this is not for everybody if you're somebody who wants coverage stay far far away from this but if you're somebody like me who just wants my skin to look better 
this is perfect. Now, just for a little bit of comparison, like I said, if you want a tinted moisturizer with some coverage, look to IT Cosmetics and NARS. I really like their tinted moisturizers. The only product that I have that is similar to this is the Milk Makeup Skin Tint in that it's really just a tint. If anything, I think you can build more coverage with the skin tint, just a little bit more, but the Laura Mercier definitely wears better. This one, I get so oily, nasty, sweaty, greasy looking at the end of the day. With the Laura Mercier, as you can see, nine hours later, I look fine. The glow to my skin is super pretty. $47, I mean, this ain't that cheap, but I know for me, this is something that I will be using a lot this year. So for me, this is worth it. So something else that I wanna talk about that I forgot to mention this morning because I was in a rush was the shade differences. So I actually have two and two linen for the Flawless Lumiere Perfecting Foundation and the names are the same as the tinted moisturizer, but I put this next to the linen and it was actually lighter in the tinted moisturizer. So I went ahead and went a little deeper with 3N1 Sand and I want to show you something. So this is linen from the Flawless Lumiere and then this is sand which is supposed to be the deeper shade from the Laura Mercier and as you can see the this one is a little bit more orangey and deeper so just something interesting but I mean if you are my shade, the sand will work perfect for you. But honestly, there are a lot of shades in this, but I don't think they needed a lot of shades in this range because it's literally so sheer. So I wouldn't be too caught up in what your color is, to be honest. I really like it. I think this is fantastic for the summer, for just throwing on before you like run out of the house really quick to do errands. This is perfect just to make it look better. So that is all I have for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A lot of you were asking about this, so I did want to talk about it with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Have a good one.